I ran out of space, but where was I? I believe we need an energy revolution. Uh, replace all non-renewable energy with renewable energy. And I believe we need a spiritual science revolution. Um, which is more difficult to explain without going into various theories. But it basically involves morphogenic, morphogenic fields, quantum fields, epigenetics, heart math involving heart wave fields, emotion fields and the way that our energy fields change depending on our emotions and um, the study of near-death experiences basically lots of scientific evidence that there are more influences than merely imperialist science would indicate and that the energy waves from our minds and our hearts affect our physical reality and affect our emotions, uh, so affect our metaphysical reality. Um, but yeah, that's a much longer video and probably, hopefully, several videos and podcasts in the future about all of those things. Um, so, yeah. In conclusion, what I was saying was, I don't think, I have no illusions that any of those revolutions that I've suggested would be easy to implement because they would cost some very powerful people money and those powerful people have uh, tyrannical megalomaniac politicians in their pockets for the most part um, but that's why I think some of those revolutions need to be implemented and um, I think that one of the problems is that because the mainstream media is owned by the same dark forces the same arc controllers I am um, a lot of people aren't aware of these options even, aren't aware of the things that hemp can't, can do, aren't aware of the therapeutic um, benefits of ceremony and ritual, aren't aware of how unfair our unproportional electoral system is, aren't aware of how many alternatives there are to non-renewable energy, and aren't aware of concepts like synchronicity or the quantum power of intention. Um, so the purpose of my podcast is to have conversations with experts in those fields to give the arguments for these revolutions the weight and authority they deserve. And um, spread that information so that more people are aware of alternatives and therefore hopefully more people will demand them. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for a 5D, 5 stage, 5 pronged revolution. Which I hope will be the true novus ordo seclorum words on the dollar bill in Latin which mean New World Order for um, the prophecy does not belong to the fascists and capitalists it belongs to us if you want a New World Order define it I don't want a future that's not sustainable, and a future that's not sustainable is actually impossible. Because anything that is unsustainable will not sustain. I want a future that is fun, full of love, and comfort and security.
more trees and more emotional intelligence. Send compassion to your inner child and send love to everybody else's. Love and empathy. F the BS season has begun. Forget the belief system.